With everything that's been happening in this new era of Equestria, a lot of new mysteries have been popping up, and while I'd love to let Detective Pip handle them, I have my own investigations to launch. And my most recent one has led me to a certain pony that's been working with an evil alicorn. Misty is a clumsy pony that's willing to do whatever she has to do to get her cutie mark, even if that means kidnapping a baby dragon. But hidden within that powerful drive is just a pony that's just as confused with Izzy as she is with who she really wants to be. But there's more to it that many creatures just haven't realized yet, and it might explain why she works with Opaline. So let's start off with talking about what her motives truly are. Misty is a pony that grew up never knowing her family. All she had was just Opaline who would use Misty for her own means. But that's not all. Misty's motivation doesn't only seem to be coming from loyalty to Opaline for her taking care of her, but it also comes from Opaline's promise to get Misty her cutie mark. For creatures that remember what happened to Apple Bloom, it's not possible for any creature to give another one a cutie mark. But why does Misty want her cutie mark so bad? She's been willing to even resort to trying to kidnap a baby dragon to get it. Our answer lies with what a cutie mark really stands for. Throughout equestrian history, a cutie mark has been the symbol of a pony finally discovering what makes them special. It also shows what they're destined to do. To a pony with no parents and no idea how to fit in, a cutie mark is something that would fill that hole in her heart. Or so she thinks. Hopefully she realizes that having a cutie mark won't give her what she's actually looking for, which is acceptance. Which reminds me, her story is very similar to another creature from the past, that creature being Spike. Both have parents that they don't know, both were taken in by a pony that became an alicorn, and both have no idea what they were meant to do and how to fit in. So basically, Misty and Spike are opposite sides of the same coin. One has a pony that loves him and cares for him, while the other has a pony that only wants to use her. Which is why she'd need a pony that can easily understand not knowing what she wants and how to move past that. And there's only one pony that can relate to that, and that pony is Zip. Zip grew up not wanting to be the queen of Zephyr Heights and instead found her own way to live. Something Misty can learn from. And with Zip's ability to see through Misty, she can easily help her uncover her cutie mark. If she does, then Misty can join the main five, completing the pattern that was set by the six pillars and Twilight and her five friends. But that all remains to be seen. I really have high hopes for Sunny and all of her friends. But anyway, I'm Windstriker, flying off until the Friday after next. Hoof to heart! And a special thanks to all of my patrons for all of your love and support. And feel free to join me on Discord and Patreon for perks and more. Special thanks to my creature tier patrons, Princess Sam, Angel of Speed, with a very special thanks to my derpy tier patrons, Skarmex and Trailblazer. And thank you all for being there for me. Hoof to heart!